Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at producing a simple Venn diagram. Let's just start with a blank canvas, and we'll begin by removing this page border. I don't like the look of that, it gets in the way. So I'll go to File, Document Properties, remove the page border, or remove the tick from show page border, and there we go. If you need to zoom in, uh, it's 1 for 100%, but uh, I'll go to 2 for 200, and but 1 back to 100%. First thing, I'm going to draw a circle by clicking the Circles and Ellipses tool, holding down Control Shift, and producing a circle. Now how that appears depends on the last settings you had. Uh, I'd like to have a border there, so Shift, click black for the border. The fill is set to light grey, but if I just click the red cross in the white square, that should go to transparent. Even though the background is white, it's actually uh, transparent. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to duplicate that circle, Control D to do that, then Control and drag to where you'd like the circles to overlap, say about there. Going back to the first circle, if I click it again, the centre of rotation is shown by a small cross. I'm going to drag that across to the, see if I can get it to snap to the centre of the other circle, which is not doing. I'll just uh, leave it uh, well, roughly in the centre again. And have a look at what snapping tools I've got on. Now, over here there's a snap to centre of, to an item's rotation centre, so I'll click that one in the snapping tools guide. You might have to turn the set of snapping tools on there, but and then this icon here. Now I'll try again, if I drag that across, uh, there it is, it's snapping, there's a red cross. There it is again, so I'll let go. So I've moved the centre of rotation to the centre of the second circle. Now if I rotate the first circle, I'll hold down control and that constrains it to 15 degree increments, so I can do that. Actually, I don't want to move the first circle. I'll duplicate it first, Control D. It's still at the same rotation centre here. Now I'll hold down Control and drag it round. You can see that looks about right there. And that produces three circles nicely centred on the same point. Now I'll produce the rectangle around the lot of them. Just click and drag, something like that. And you might want to, perhaps let's group those three circles. Shift click on all the circles. Control G to group. Now shift click on the rectangle and in the alignment, line and distribute uh, toolbox, yeah, we'll click align to the middle, the center, vert vertical center and horizontal center. Now that didn't do what I did, so I'll Control Z and I realize I've got relative to page. I want it relative to last selected. So now if I do the vertical alignment and the middle alignment, that's better. While they're all selected, I'll just drag them a bit further over here. If you haven't got the Align and Distribute tools selected, you can bring that up by Control shift a or this icon up here. So there I've pretty much got my Venn diagram, my triple, Venn, triple circle Venn diagram. To label them, I'll go to the text tool, click and type perhaps A, whatever, you can label it whatever you like of course. Uh, back to the text tool, click over here, B, back to the text, oh it's still on the text tool, click over here, C, back to the select tool and I can drag things around you know, however I want. And to label the universal set, I'll click the text tool, I'll click up here, I'll do a lowercase e, I'll select the select tool again. Now, if I click off and then double click and highlight, it brings up the uh, text and font uh, parameters up here, which is a convenient spot. Now if I change that to symbol, if you can't see a vertical scroll bar, sometimes that disappears, but uh, you can just scroll with the mouse wheel, symbol, and that produces the epsilon symbol. 
I'll just click on a corner to drag it a bit bigger, hold down control to keep the proportions, and you might want to label that there. Now one uh, fun thing to do um, to show students different areas is to use the paint bucket tool. If I click on yellow first and shift click no border then back to the paint bucket tool and say click in here you can see it shades different areas or I can click around here and so on just to show them which areas I'm talking about. I control Z to undo that and I think that's uh, just about it. If, look I might put a few numbers in just to show you. If I click the text tool again it might be I'll type the number 10 for example and put that in the oops, click and drag into there see it's snapping into positions I don't want it so uh, it's saying rotation center. I'll turn that rotation center snapping off and that lets me drag to wherever I want another way instead of typing the text tool all the time is to click the click one text box and control duplicate then drag it somewhere else control duplicate drag it somewhere else and so on to fill in all the areas I'll just continue doing that control D drag control D drag control D oops control D drag then click off and then double click to edit those numbers you don't have to double click each one you can just continue dragging over values when it turns into an eye bar I'm just changing them to random almost random numbers, small numbers and finally this one here we'll backspace over it and put a new number in and there we have a nice Venn diagram oh it looks like I've double duplicated there so I'll delete one of them now just to show you again that fill tool with the paint bucket uh, tool if I say I wanted to highlight this area for students I click there see it um, hasn't filled in in the 0 and the 10 so I'll just click that to do that but it all seems to have wiped out a bit of the border of the number 10 so I'll click the select tool click the yellow and send it to the back if I zoom in I might have to click that little area there send that to the back you can see it just sharpened up a little bit I'm zooming with the control key and the mouse wheel and there we have a Venn diagram with a particular area shaded everything outside of A and B but uh, still within C that concludes the tutorial thanks for watching